The exploration of space has historically been dominated by large government agencies and well-established aerospace companies. However, in recent years, a new era has emerged, with amateur enthusiasts and small-scale organizations taking to the skies. So strap in for today's video. Join me, we're going to count down the 15 most successful amateur space launches. Number 15. Copenhagen Suborbitals Heat 1X The Heat 1X Tycho Brahe rocket launched by Copenhagen Suborbitals in 2011 was a milestone achievement in amateur rocketry, as the nonprofit organization successfully developed and launched the first manned liquid fuel suborbital rocket built by amateurs. The Tycho Brahe rocket stood approximately 30 feet tall and utilized a hybrid propulsion system, combining a liquid oxidizer with a rubber-based solid fuel. With a launch mass of around 1,980 pounds, the rocket was designed to carry a single occupant. On June 3, 2011, the mission was a go, and the rocket blasted off from a platform in the Baltic Sea. Although it didn't reach orbital space, it did achieve an impressive suborbital altitude of about 8.5 miles before descending safely back into the water. The successful launch of this rocket showcased Copenhagen Suborbital's ingenuity, technical prowess, and determination to explore space independently. It was a testament to their commitment to pushing the boundaries of what amateurs can accomplish in the field of rocketry. Having billions of dollars for a rocket launch is good, but sometimes having heart and a rock-solid engineering program are even better. Number 14. Interorbital Systems – Neptune the Neptune Modular Rocket, developed by Interorbital Systems, is a privately built and privately launched rocket that introduces a modular design concept, allowing for flexibility and adaptability in its configuration. The Neptune rocket is designed to be assembled from a series of standardized modules, which simplifies manufacturing, integration, and the testing process. This modular approach enables interorbital systems to customize the rocket's payload capacity and mission objectives according to specific requirements. By using a combination of solid and liquid propellants, the Neptune rocket achieves efficient and reliable propulsion. It incorporates solid fuel motors in the initial stages, providing robust thrust while liquid propellant engines are utilized for later stages, delivering greater control and efficiency. This new and improved modular design of the Neptune rocket offers several advantages, including scalability, ease of transportation, and of course, cost-effectiveness. It allows for incremental development and testing, enabling interorbital systems to progressively enhance and upgrade the rocket's capabilities over time. Number 13. Worldview Enterprises – Stratolite in 2014, Worldview Enterprises made headlines with their high-altitude balloon launch, showcasing their innovative approach to space exploration. The company's balloon-based platform aimed to provide commercial access to the edge of space, offering a unique perspective and a variety of applications. Worldview Enterprises' balloon, known as the Stratolite, utilized advanced technology and materials to achieve impressive altitudes. The Stratolite balloon system was designed to carry payloads, including scientific experiments, cameras, and communication equipment to heights reaching the edge of space. The successful launch of the balloon demonstrated the potential for cost-effective access to near-space environments, and this platform offered opportunities for scientific research, Earth observation, telecommunication, and even tourism. The balloon-based approach provided an alternative to traditional rocket launches, allowing for longer-duration missions and greater maneuverability in near-space regions. Worldview Enterprises' innovation in high-altitude ballooning opened up new possibilities for various industries and fueled excitement around commercial space ventures. Number 12. Hark Dart-1 Hark! Who goes there? Why, it's the Dart-1 rocket, of course. High Altitude Research Corporation, or HARC, made a significant impact in the amateur space launch arena in 2018 with the successful launch of their DART-1 rocket. The launch was a milestone achievement for rocket scientists everywhere as it became the first amateur-built rocket to cross the Kármán line, the internationally recognized boundary of space. The DART-1 rocket was meticulously designed and constructed by the HARC team, showcasing their expertise and their dedication to pushing the boundaries of amateur rocketry. It was powered by a hybrid propulsion system combining a liquid oxidizer and a solid fuel grain. The rocket demonstrated impressive performance and reliability. During the launch, Dart-1 reached an altitude exceeding 62 miles, which is the commonly accepted boundary of space. This accomplishment not only solidified Hark's position as a prominent player in the amateur space community, but also opened up new possibilities for other amateur rocket builders. When one person makes it over the barrier, the rest of us know that it's possible. The success of the Dart-1 launch marked a significant step forward in the pursuit of accessible space exploration as well. 
Number 11. USC's Rocket Labs Traveler 4 The University of Southern California's Rocket Propulsion Laboratory achieved an awesome milestone in the world of amateur rocketry with their successful launch of the Traveler 4 rocket in 2018. The Traveler 4 rocket was an impressive feat of engineering to say the least. Standing approximately 17 feet tall and weighing just 630 pounds, the rocket was powered by a hybrid propulsion system combining a liquid oxidizer with a solid fuel. During the launch, the rocket soared to an altitude of 339,800 feet, marking the highest altitude ever reached by an amateur rocket, surpassing the boundaries of Earth's atmosphere and venturing into the near-space realm. The success of this rocket demonstrated the technical competence and perseverance of the USC Rocket Lab team and reminded parents everywhere why they should send their kids to USC. But it showcased their ability to design and build a sophisticated rocket of reaching such extraordinary heights without the help of someone like NASA. More than just a space launch, the Traveler 4 launch had multiple objectives. It aimed to test the rocket's stability, payload capacity, and recovery systems. Additionally, it served as a platform for conducting scientific experiments, collecting data, and furthering research in various fields. The USC Rocket Lab's achievement was not only significant from a technical standpoint, but also had educational and inspirational implications. The project involved undergraduate and graduate students, providing them with hands-on experience in aerospace engineering and rocketry. It did serve as a testament to the potential of university-level programs to foster innovation and cultivate the next generation of space industry professionals. Just imagine adding the Traveler 4's launch to your resume. Number 10. Air Command Rockets Sarge Air Command Rockets, an amateur rocketry group, made waves in the space community with their successful launch of the Sarge rocket in 2019. The rocket stood approximately 18 feet tall and weighed around 1,000 pounds. It was powered by a solid fuel motor and featured a guidance system for increased control during flight. During the launch, the Sarge rocket soared to an altitude of over 62 miles, crossing the Karman Line, the internationally recognized boundary of space. This achievement marked a significant milestone for Air Command rockets, as it demonstrated their ability to launch a rocket to suborbital space and added them to the short list of space-age players. The launch had multiple objectives. It aimed to test the rocket's performance, collect data for scientific research, and validate the guidance system's capabilities. This launch showcased the group's meticulous planning, engineering prowess, and commitment to safety. Their achievement with the Sarge rocket is not only remarkable from a technical perspective, but also has educational and outreach implications. It involved a team of amateur enthusiasts, including students and hobbyists, who gained valuable hands-on experience in aerospace engineering and rocketry, proving that you don't need to be a NASA scientist to get to space. The success of this launch exemplifies the possibilities and advancements achievable in amateur rocketry. Furthermore, the Sarge launch inspired other amateur rocket enthusiasts, demonstrating that it is possible to develop and launch complex rockets with limited resources. The launch not only expanded the horizons of what's possible in amateur rocketry, but also contributed to the overall knowledge and understanding of suborbital space missions. It exemplifies the spirit of exploration and the pursuit of knowledge that drives amateur space enthusiasts to reach for the stars. Number 9. 2019 Base 11 Space Challenge Zot Rocket the 2019 Base 11 Space Challenge team from the University of California, Irvine, embarked on an exciting journey to design and build a rocket capable of reaching the edge of space. With enthusiasm and determination, this group of talented students set out to conquer the challenge and make their mark in the world of amateur rocketry. But did they succeed? Well, the Base 11 Space Challenge as a nationwide competition aimed at promoting STEM education and inspiring students to pursue careers in aerospace. UCI's team, composed of undergraduates from various disciplines, embraced the opportunity to showcase their skills and creativity. The team's rocket, aptly named Zot Rockets, underwent meticulous planning and engineering. It stood tall, reaching about 12 feet, and was equipped with a powerful solid fuel motor. The team aimed to surpass the height of 62 miles, which is recognized as the boundary of space, and once you pass this boundary, you're in. Through countless hours of design, fabrication, and testing, the UCI team demonstrated their technical prowess and dedication. They tackled challenges head-on and collaborated closely to ensure the success of their rocket. This team from UCI not only aimed for the stars, but also inspired their university community and beyond. Their passion for space exploration and commitment to excellence resonated with students, encouraging them to pursue their own dreams in aerospace. The journey of the Zod rocket team was a thrilling adventure filled with excitement, setbacks, and triumphs. 
The 2019 Base 11 Space Challenge provided them with a platform to learn, grow, and demonstrate their skills on a national stage. Ultimately, the team proved that with teamwork, determination, and a passion for exploration, even undergraduate students can reach for the stars. Their participation in the competition showcased incredible talent and potential of the next generation of aerospace engineers, and it ignited a sense of wonder and curiosity in all those who followed that journey. And if they were that good as young students, just imagine what else they'll achieve in their lifetime. Number 8. USC's LPL's Fathom 2 the USC Liquid Propulsion Lab made a significant impact in the realm of amateur rocketry with their remarkable achievement, the launch of the Fathom 2 rocket. The launch of this rocket, which happened in 2021, showcased the expertise and dedication of the LPL team. The Fathom 2 rocket was designed and constructed by this team, and it stood approximately 16 feet tall and weighed a hefty 1,400 pounds. It featured a liquid bipropellant propulsion system, utilizing liquid oxygen as the oxidizer and a mixture of kerosene and ethanol as the fuel. During the launch, the Fathom 2 rocket achieved an impressive altitude of approximately 144,000 feet before safely returning to Earth. The launch demonstrated the team's ability to design and operate a sophisticated liquid-fueled rocket, pushing the boundaries of amateur rocketry. A lot of work went into this one. LPL's expertise in propulsion systems, avionics, and aerodynamics are on full display here. The project involves students from various engineering disciplines, fostering a multidisciplinary approach and providing invaluable hands-on experience. Everyone walked away a little smarter after this one, and that's saying a lot. On top of it all, instead of keeping their newfound knowledge and success to themselves, the USC LPL team actively engaged in knowledge sharing and community outreach, organizing workshops and mentoring programs to inspire future generations of engineers and space enthusiasts. It demonstrated that with dedication, ingenuity, and maybe a little bit of seed money, amateur rocketry groups can achieve remarkable feats, literally. The team's accomplishment with the Fathom 2 rocket has solidified their reputation as a prominent player in the amateur space community, and there's nowhere else to go but up. NASA, eat your heart out. Moving on to number 7, the Nexo 2. Back in the space race again is Danish nonprofit Copenhagen Suborbitals. In 2018, the team reached yet another milestone in the world of amateur space launches with their Nexo 2. This rocket, standing about 33 feet tall and weighing in at 2,866 pounds, is a single stage liquid fueled rocket. It utilized a bi liquid propulsion system combining liquid oxygen as the oxidizer and ethanol as the fuel. The rocket featured a carbon fiber composite structure for lightweight and robust construction. Its propulsion system generated nearly 9,000 pounds of thrust, propelling Nexo 2 to an altitude of approximately 7.5 miles up in the sky. Equipped with a payload section, it had the capability to carry scientific experiments and research instruments. This feature enabled them to collect valuable data during the mission, contributing to further research and development efforts. To ensure effective monitoring and data transmission, it was also equipped with a telemetry system. This system enabled real-time data transmission, providing crucial information about the rocket's performance throughout the flight. The Nexo 2 rocket launch marked an important milestone for Copenhagen suborbitals, as it represented a step closer to their ultimate ambition of launching a human into space. Seems like they're getting closer with each passing day. But part of what makes Copenhagen suborbitals so unique and so cool is that while everyone on board is a genius in their own right, they're all there because they want to be. They were founded in 2008 by Peter Madsen and Christian Vadbegstun, and have always aimed for open source principles and volunteer-driven efforts. Number 6. NCKU TS-01 Rocket The TS-01 rocket, developed by National Qingkung University in Taiwan, represents the university's foray into the realm of amateur rocketry. This project aims to provide students with hands-on experience in aerospace engineering and to promote scientific research in that field, and it managed to accomplish that and then some. The TS-01 rocket, standing just under 10 feet tall, was designed as a single-stage, solid-fueled rocket. It employed a hybrid propulsion system utilizing a solid rocket motor and a liquid oxidizer. The 2010 launch of the rocket marked an important milestone for NCKU's aerospace program. It was equipped with a payload section that carried scientific instruments to collect data during the flight. This allowed students and researchers to gather valuable information and data about various parameters, including altitude, velocity, and atmospheric conditions, and has already proven to be very valuable to future students. 
the TSO-1 launch showcased their commitment to nurturing talent and promoting scientific exploration in the field of rocketry. It provided an opportunity for students to apply theoretical knowledge to practical applications, as well as develop crucial skills in project management, teamwork, and problem solving, all while having more than a little rocket-fueled fun. Number 5. Reaction Research Society's Icarus one of the most fun and memorable amateur space launches was the launch of the Icarus rocket by the Reaction Research Society, or RRS, in 2019. The RRS is a nonprofit organization based in California, dedicated to amateur rocketry and the advancement of space technology. The Icarus rocket was a unique and entertaining project. It was designed to reach an altitude of about 14,000 feet and carry a payload of stuffed animals. Yep, instead of a crew of the right stuff, Icarus carried stuffed animals. Each stuffed animal had a small parachute attached, allowing them to experience a thrilling ride to Earth safely. As one can imagine, the launch drew a crowd of enthusiastic onlookers, including families and children, who eagerly awaited the moment the rocket would blast off into the sky. As the Icarus rocket soared into the sky, it provided a visually captivating sight with its plume of smoke and flame. The colorful parachutes deploying and gently lowering the stuffed animals back to the ground added an element of spectacle and entertainment. The launch of the Icarus rocket by the Reaction Research Society exemplified the lighter side of amateur space launches, reminding us that space exploration can and should be fun. Number 4. University of Hawaii's Vulcan 1 The Vulcan 1 rocket project was a remarkable endeavor that showcased the ingenuity and determination of the university's students and faculty. Designed as a high-powered sounding rocket, Vulcan 1 aimed to break altitude records and provide valuable scientific data for atmospheric research. At 18 feet long and weighing 485 pounds, Vulcan 1 was equipped with a hybrid propulsion system that combined solid and liquid fuel components. The rocket's design and construction underwent meticulous testing and analysis to ensure its reliability, performance, and of course the safety of the students. On June 22, 2019, at the Pacific Missile Range Facility in Kauai in Hawaii, Vulcan 1 made its meteoric launch. The rocket reached a peak altitude of 26 miles up above that sweet Hawaiian surf. The flight lasted approximately 8 minutes, during which various sensors and instruments on board collected valuable data about atmospheric conditions, pressure, and temperature. It provided an invaluable learning experience for the University of Hawaii students involved and made for one of the greatest class projects of all time. It allowed students to apply classroom knowledge in a practical setting, gaining hands-on experience with rocket design, propulsion systems, and flight dynamics, and develop skills in project management and teamwork, which surely made their parents proud. The successful launch demonstrated the university's commitment to advancing aerospace research and education. It showcased the capabilities of the university's engineering and science programs, positioning them as a significant player in the field of amateur rocketry. On top of all that, the Vulcan 1 project aligned with the university's broader goals of environmental stewardship and sustainability. Typical rocket launches can leave an amazing amount of debris and fuel in their wake. These kids know that if we're going to keep moving humanity forward, we need to do it wisely. Number 3. Space Plane VSS Unity on December 13, 2018, Virgin Galactic's space plane VSS Unity embarked on its first crewed flight to space, entering Richard Bronson into the Battle of the Billionaires. The VSS Unity, carried by the carrier aircraft White Knight II, took off from the Mojave Air and Spaceport in California. At an altitude of approximately 50,000 feet, the space plane was released and ignited its rocket motor, propelling it to an altitude of just over 51 miles, surpassing the Kármán line and crossing the boundary into space. The two test pilots on board, Mark Forger Stuckey and Frederick C.J. Sturkow, took the passengers for one wild ride. As the rocket motor shut down, the passengers, which included scientific payloads, experienced several minutes of weightlessness, gazing at the awe-inspiring view of the Earth from space. Can the average Joe experience a trip aboard this thing? Well, probably not. But it was still a major validation of the years of design, development, and testing, and it's a testament to the dedication and expertise of the team involved. Following the mission, VSS Unity re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and glided smoothly to a runway landing at Mojave Air and Spaceport, demonstrating the vehicle's ability to safely return to Earth. Bronson can now stand next to the self-proclaimed space cowboy Jeffrey Bezos as they continue to challenge each other to go higher and higher, looking down on the rest of the world the whole way up. Number 2. SpaceX Falcon 1 one of the most notable amateur space launches of our time is the launch of the Falcon 1 rocket by SpaceX, which took place on September 28, 2008. 
SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, aimed to revolutionize the space industry by developing affordable and reusable rockets. The Falcon 1 was a two-stage rocket designed to deliver small payloads into orbit. With a height of 70 feet and a diameter of 5.5 feet, it was powered by SpaceX Merlin 1C engine. The launch represented the first successful orbital launch by a privately funded company. Now, prior to the successful launch, SpaceX faced no shortage of setbacks and failed attempts. But years of persistence paid off when the fourth launch of the Falcon 1 became a major triumph. The rocket lifted off from Omelec Island in the Kwajalein Atoll, Pacific Ocean, and successfully reached orbit, deploying the dummy payload. The launch marked the beginning of SpaceX's journey towards becoming a major player in the commercial space sector and showed that private companies can become space-age powerhouses. The success of the Falcon 1 launch was a significant milestone in space exploration. It also proved the viability of cost-effective rocket technology and paved the way for subsequent developments, such as the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, which have since become workhorses for SpaceX commercial launches and are fully recoverable. It's quite a sight to watch these rockets jettison into the air only to come back down gracefully onto the launch pad. Number 1. Civilian Space Exploration Team's Go Fast Rocket so many amateurs and enthusiasts have crossed the threshold into space, but only one can be the first to break on through to the other side. The Civilian Space Exploration Team, or CSXT, made history with their appropriately named Go Fast Rocket, which became the first amateur rocket to breach the Kármán line, the internationally recognized boundary of space at 62 miles above the Earth's surface. On May 17, 2004, the Go Fast Rocket soared into the sky from the Black Rock Desert in Nevada in the U.S. The rocket, standing at 22 feet tall, was powered by a commercial hybrid rocket motor. It accelerated quite rapidly, living up to its name, reaching a maximum speed of approximately Mach 3, or three times the speed of sound. It took only 90 seconds for the go-fast rocket to surpass the Kármán line, marking a significant achievement for the team and amateur rocketry at large. If they can do it, then so can other crack teams. Records are typically meant to be broken. The go-fast rocket reached an altitude of 69.6 miles before descending back to Earth under a parachute. This successful launch garnered international attention and recognition, solidifying their place in space exploration history. The achievement demonstrated really for the first time that dedicated amateurs could overcome technical and logistical challenges to reach the edge of space. The GoFast project exemplified the passion and determination of its team members. They collaborated to design, build, and launch a rocket capable of breaking the boundaries of Earth's atmosphere, all without the help of major organizations like NASA. But the GoFast project was a lot more than some backyard shenanigans. Notably, the CSXT team played it by the book, adhering to strict safety protocols and obtaining the necessary permits and clearances for their launch. They ensured that their rocket launch operations were conducted responsibly and in compliance with local regulations. One false move, and it's all over for the entire community. Without the GoFast rocket, we wouldn't have the other launches on this list today. It showcased that breakthroughs in space technology were not solely the domain of governments and large corporations, but also accessible to dedicated individuals and teams with a shared vision. I'll see you next time. Thank you to our channel members.